Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Little Revolution. I'm Wee Man, and this is my co-buddy host, Poncho Moeller. Yeah. We're here to do it. We're here to do it. I got a special guest for you today, buddy. Oh, really? Full surprise. Okay. Yeah. This is, we're, I'm going way out on a limb okay. with this guest. Yeah, I could, so. I could see that you're going way out of the room with this guest. We'd like to welcome Jessica Harder to the Little Revolution. Yoga, yogi, yoga instructor, uh, alcohol brewmaster. What? Yeah, like we have a lot going on, dude. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't know about the alcohol brewmaster. I think you, you're giving me a title I don't deserve. You don't want alcohol brewmaster? That's a pretty well, cool title. Well, I mean, it's, it's kombucha. It goes with the whole yoga vibe of, oh. of the lifestyle, right? I know, but we wanted to make it sound a so little bit. So this is a more. whole yoga thing. This We're, is, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, downward dog, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I hope I, you I, stay. I, <laughs> what do you think? You don't want to know what I thought. No, we, I want to hear what you think. Yeah, we would love to. Well, that. when he said Jessica Harder, I thought it was a porn star. I knew you were gonna say. <laughs> that. And I googled you, and like it was pretty awesome. So like I was like, what so wait, the fuck? There, I'm wait, like, you got her. There's another Jessica Harder out there. Yeah. Oh my god. And she's all about the harder. Is she? She might be doing some downward dogs, but with. Definitely. De definitely. But the whole yoga thing makes it even more interesting. Yeah. yeah. No, she's a great instructor, uh, big fan of ours. Okay. So uh, really, yeah. I well, I actually um, I, the first time I saw you was actually like literally the first episode that came out of um, of Jackass. J okay. And I was at a party, and it was just playing, <laughs> and like I'm like, what the hell is this? And then, of course, there's like a whole group of guys huddled around, right? Yeah. Like skater guys. Yeah. And um, it you were the Oompa Loompa. Yeah, that was our yeah. first episode. So. Yeah, that was that was our yeah. pilot episode. Yeah. So. And I've actually seen both of you because my brother was really into skating, so I had to we watched skate videos like at home all the time. Is that older okay. brother, younger brother? He's older. Yeah. Okay, he was yeah. into skating. Huh? That's cool. Yeah, he's super into skating. He he used to do these like board -a -thon things with his friends where like he'd start off like surfing in the morning then they'd all go snowboarding and then they'd end at a skate park yeah. uh yeah uh we called it the trifecta oh trifecta yeah oh. so especially when you lived in la yeah because you, you have access to all of them. all three within two hours yeah, you yeah. can't do that like in like like in New York you know? or New Mexico. Yeah. Can't yeah. do that in New Mexico. <laughs> yeah. All those landlocked spaces. Yeah, that's yeah. the beauty of California, man. Yeah. Are you a California native? I am actually. Born Orange County? And raised. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. Wish nice. they all could be California. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I just felt like doing that. I was looking at you. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you got excited, huh? Yeah. Got well, I just, you know. We don't have many women on our show. We don't. I know. No. I actually, I listened to the episode on the way up here of the only woman episode that you have released right now. Because I was like, if I'm going to listen to an episode, I should listen to like the one woman because I'm like. Becky? The second woman, maybe. I don't know if you've recorded. Can you bring your mic a little closer? Yeah. yeah. Is this better? Yeah. Yeah. So you were listening to Becky? Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, Builds motorcycles. Yeah. She's, oh, Becky. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She seemed really cool. Yeah. She's very awesome. She's yeah. from Long. Well, she's not from. She's Canadian. Yeah. She's from Long Beach. She works at my buddy. Uh, well, she has her own little shop in my buddy's shop, and she's just super cool. Yeah. She seemed really cool. Yeah. She's down to earth. She's living cool. living the van life for a while, and. Yep. She did that. Yeah. I did that for a while. I know you. I heard you say that on there. I've, this is like one of my dreams to like ha just take off in a van and disappear for a while. Why don't you do that? I, I have two little kids, so I have got okay. to get a van that has like space for them in it. And, it's easy. And yeah. How old are your kids? They're, uh, they're uh, I'm just blanked. My, cause my, <laughs> my one kid just had a birthday, so he just turned six. Six? And then the other one is three. Oh, oh perfect yeah. age. Yeah. 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 No, there's ways to do family van life. I've yeah. seen it. I have a friend who did it for a while, and I'm like, I need to like get some tips with four kids. She did it with four kids. She was ruling. So, so you're a yoga instructor. Yeah. So would one of your things be like traveling around in the van with the kids? 
teaching yoga at different places, kind of showing other people the way, kind of I thing. mean, the way. I don't, I don't the, yogi way. To, the yogi way. The yogi way. I mean, <laughs> that, that, that could happen. I don't know. I've done, uh, like, are you talking about more retreat things? I've led retreats before. Yeah, I guess so. That, that's yeah. probably what I was, where um, my mind was going. I used to work at this place, and I would do retreats every six weeks, which is awesome. Mm. What does what a retreat consist of? Because I see, like, people doing yoga out on the grass, like in Long Beach, or yeah. yoga in the studio. But what would a retreat, like, be for... Because we have a lot of viewers that are all over the board. Yeah, and not, that, they're not yogi experts, yeah. right? So what would a retreat be? Okay, so um, it's, like, a deep dive into like yourself and exploring yourself. Mm. So there's a lot of like emotional work. There's like a meditation. You're going to have yoga sessions probably in the morning and then in the evening. Usually there's like someone cooking all your food for you. And if it's a yoga retreat, it's probably like organic, healthy shit. Um, mm. And the Vegetarian one, or is there some it carnivore? It depends on uh. like what retreat you're doing. Right? Okay. So got it. yeah, if you're cooking meat. It's got to be kosher. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more for Hanukkah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then yeah, like a lot of emotional work. And the the ones that I've done, it's like usually somewhere out in nature. Mm. Yeah. And um, we try to just like get rid of your phones also, so you have like a, a weekend like no phones. You're just like in nature. I I I I've seen that movie called out. Couples Retreat. Oh, and I it's like, uh, it's, it's a comedy, but it's basically exactly what you're saying. They go yeah. into like to an island and there's a bunch of different uh, teachers that do different things like work on emotional stuff, work yeah. on like stretching, work on like the proper food to eat, work on like the couple's therapy, you know, like yeah. and it, it sounds like it would be kind of fun, actually. Yeah. And then you leave and you just feel like, man, I'm like a whole new person. Like you feel like you're. A uh, soul just got cleaned or something like you took a shower from all the shittiness of who you were before the retreat or something. I don't know. I feel yeah. like that, like when I took off living the van life. Yeah. I felt like that almost every day. I would Cause, imagine so. Because I never had to like, I, there was no place I had to be. Mm -hmm. and every day I played it by ear where I would end up, and I actually ended up in some pretty fun spots out of the blue where things were happening. And once in a while I even went, like, I, I was all the way Midwest, like Arkansas, Missouri, and then driving back, and I'd be like, well, I'll just spend the night at a skate park mm. and then skate in the morning. And, Works. it like, that's how it was. I'd make my own coffee, kind of shower here and there. I showered mainly at, like, Bathhouses, like spas. Oh, that's, and, so you went luxury then. Yeah, or but like gyms. if I'm gonna take a shower, it's this gonna be is, like this, the best shower I ever took. Oh yeah, it is luxury. It's not like showering at the YMCA. Like I yeah. feel like if it was if it was me, I'd find like some creek somewhere and like just dive in. Or oh, and in, I did that too. Okay, you yeah. got a blend of. Like, I had a blend. A blend of the the creek nature vibe and then like the <laughs> like pure luxury. Like I'm gonna just lay here and let someone scrub. Scrub my body for yeah. me. Oh, I did that. And we've discussed. I'm trying to get Poncho to go to my... I never even knew this part of him. Yeah. And I've known yeah. him for a long time that he's in the bathhouses. <laughs> I started going to spas when I was living in Europe, actually. And over there, it's much different than here. You're like, it's like co-ed, full nude. Oh, there. wow. Yeah. Well, that's how you... So... Would, no. Full nude, you're just the dudes? Yeah. Oh, okay, co-ed co is men and women. Yeah, okay. so, yeah. like, you know, it's like men and women just fully naked together the whole day. And I would be there for, like, the whole day. I you guess know? if you're really comfortable so. with yourself, like, yeah. that would work out pretty well, you know? Yeah, yeah. You gotta, one, be, you gotta be comfortable you gotta, just yeah. to even do it around other One years. time, so I, I, this woman I saw one time was very comfortable. She was, like, on her period, and she had, like, the string coming out of her and just walking around, like... I was like, whoa, man, like, I... At the spa. At the spa. Going into, the, like, the jacuzzis yeah, and the hot tub. And maybe, like, maybe she forgot. Her, the string is hitting against the inside of her legs. She's going to feel that. <laughs> <laughs> like, See, I, I'm not a woman, so, I, yeah, you're right. Like, it's yes, just going to be just fucking it was, bouncing. It's, like, hanging the, about this far out of her, her body. Like, you're and, gonna, no, and you didn't even say anything. No, I was just like, fuck. 
Okay, whatever. If that's if that's how you want to roll, that's how you're gonna roll. I'm I'm pretty open to uh, well, tell people like. Oh, you want to tuck that back in or? No, I would be like, heck, do you yeah. know that's going on during this time? Like, do you <laughs> she, know? Of course, she knows. She has a tampon <laughs> inside of her body. It's not how do how do you think the tampon got up there? Uh, maybe she just runs it. <laughs> maybe she just doesn't that's, know. That's the next level comfortability right there. Yeah. yeah. That's confidence. You're like, I don't care. I'm on my period. It happens every month. <laughs> yeah. If, if, why do you give a shit if I don't? Yeah. Know? I'm just going to let it all hang out. Let, 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 let that string hang out. <laughs> so that is some European bathhouse yeah. shit, huh? Yes. All right. Yeah. Noted. Going wow. to Europe. Yeah, Going I've never to... heard of anything like that. I'm... Mm. Maybe that should be the first one I take you to. We'll yes. Go to we'll go if you and... go. So I lived in Amsterdam. If that's where you're going, then let me know because I'll tell you which ones are the best. Ah, all right. There I guess go, it would so. be, I, what I was, what I meant to say with the comfortability of it, I, I meant to say like, as a dude, like, you know, you, you see women walking around that are like super beautiful and, and maybe some not, but you, I, you know, you, how do you control yourself? You know, it's you just, like, Hey, you just, you just don't look it. up, you know, like I, I just, <laughs> I, I'm just trying to be honest. Why like, would you look? Cause you're, you're going to, you're gonna, there's no way you're going to not be able to see another naked body if you're yeah. there. So okay. you're going to look like it's, okay. otherwise you're walking around with your eyes closed. Okay, so you get a boner. Are you embarrassed that you get a boner? Or is that, actually, well, I think that would be like disrespectful. I think if you're walking by and some chick's there and you got a boner, she's like, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> you know I mean? Is that how, is that, is that, is that the attitude? Is that, or am I just completely out of my mind here? Thank you. It's like your penis is just speaking to her without you actually yeah. talking. And you're like, you're like, like, like looking at her, looking down, like, looking at her, looking She's down. like, she has a conversation with your penis. Like, no, she has, oh, it, with, yes, she yes. has it with you, yeah. but it's like a wink. It's like, a, you know, you wink. It's just yeah. winking. <laughs> no, you, instead of winking. It's a one-eyed wink. wink. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's usually how that's you well, wink yeah, is with like, one eye. I think it depends on who the man is, <laughs> to be honest. Mm, if it's going to feel go. like a compliment or if it's going to feel creepy. I think it really just depends on who the <laughs> yeah. man is. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. But I think I'd be comfortable with myself if I walked by. And of course it happens when you see it, you know. I've never seen it happen, actually. I'd have to work on my tan lines. No, go farmer tan no. fully. Really? Fully run farmer tan. Yeah. There, sometimes I'm like, wow, I'm surprised that like that person feels comfortable here. You know, like their body might be a little weird or one ball's like um, hanging down way lower than I'll the other or something, you know? Our bodies, course, our bodies are different and I feel very comfortable doing that. We're yeah, not, I mean, our bodies aren't normal. <laughs> I feel okay. comfortable walking around naked in front of my wife, but in front of anybody else, it's a, it's probably a, a little weird. Yeah. I, I don't do the bathhouses, so I don't. Yeah. I wouldn't know, you know. You just got a man up. Yeah. But no, I'm yeah. just curious. You said like, whoa, for, it's a little weird for somebody doing it. One ball's hanging way longer it's, than I mean. The other. It's you see like a massive variety in body shapes over there. So it's. Oh I yeah. Mean, now are you talking about France? Like, what are we talking about? Amsterdam. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's a different bathhouse. A different. It's like a it's not, brothel. Not your, not it's your like mirror. a brothel style bathhouse. No, pe people are not hooking up over there. It's, no, it's not. No. Because no. we were discussing, and the reason it got brought up uh, with Punch is a buddy of mine and I. We go a bunch, mm -hmm. fully straight, but there is male nights, boys nights, and it happens at the bathhouses. Like yeah, but isn't it, that's like a bit, I feel like that's like a, a gay community sort of thing. Like, Bathhouses? Mm -hmm. No, you know what? like the that's, hooking up thing that like hookups happen That's what I always thought frequent. about the bathhouses. That's why I thought it was weird when you, when you said it, because that's what I heard before. But when you and Eric were talking about it and being so confident about it, and then you mentioned that there is that style, like at a certain time of night, yeah. if you go, like I was like, oh, okay, a little bit more open to it. Yeah. But there, there's a lot of like straight normal people that go and mm -hmm. just use the facility to use the facility. Oh yeah, to to yeah to get everything you can. You out just of get it. everything. Yeah, feel good. So feel yeah, relax. The, the place that I used to go to, there was like you're not allowed to touch anyone. Yeah, like, they would have like a rule about that to make sure See, things were kept clean. Mm -hmm. I yeah. would even feel way more comfortable with that, and I know you yeah. would too. With no one touching me. 
Well, knowing that the rule's there, oh, too. Yeah. The rules, yeah, the yeah. rule's there. So you know it's like, this is like we're, no shady business here. We're, <laughs> we're going to take a luxury shower. We're going to, like, smell get some a, herbs and, you know. Get a scrub. Yeah. Sweat. No funny business. No funny we're, business. No hanky-panky. No hanky-panky, <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so you live, how long did you live in Amsterdam for? And why did you, being an Orange County, California girl, why'd you go and live in Amsterdam? Um, so why did I move there? I yeah. finished school and I was like most people where I'm like, what the hell do I do with my life um, right now? I don't really know. And my grandparents are from there. And my grandma's like, why don't you just go live with my brother for free? And I was like, fuck yeah, I'll go live in Europe for free. Like, why not? That's you know? awesome. Yeah. So went over there, moved in with him. The plan was six months. Okay. But that got extended to six years. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I spent a long time. I now, I now speak the language fluently. I taught myself how to speak it while I was over there, That's which great. is very hard in that country because the Dutch people they all, speak Dutch. Yeah. They okay. speak English. They all are like fluent in English. So like they would hear my accent and then they would just speak back to me in English every time. And I, I had, it was so hard to practice. So my family's from Germany. Yeah. So I learned German as a young kid. Oh, you're lucky. I had but, to learn when I was 23. But my aunt, like all my aunts and uncles, yeah. they never learned English. Because that's like when Germany was like, no, we're not learning English. Uh -huh. We're only speaking German. So it was real easy for me to learn. But my cousins all learned English. So then when we would talk, I would talk German to them. And they would answer to me in English. That was like me. Yeah. Yes. That was and me it's for so frustrating. Yes. I had to really work on like pronouncing the words properly. Yeah. And making sure I didn't make any grammar mistakes. And I think it took me like a year before people would talk back to me in Dutch. Mm. Uh, so okay. like a year of living there. Yeah. So, but I did get mistaken. I was like super proud. I got mistaken for a native Dutch person one time. And I was like, holy shit, my Dutch is so good. I fooled you. <laughs> from a native Dutch person or no, from a they tourist? Were, they were a foreigner who spoke Dutch, though. Uh, okay. So they did speak Dutch as well, but they were not Dutch themselves. Yeah. I don't think I could fool an actual Dutch person. I'm not yeah, that I, good. All right. But, but I, like Dutch people are usually are like, wow, your Dutch is so good. Because my pronunciation is better than most English speakers because I like focused on it. Nice. So you're you're so. you're you're a tall woman. You uh, yeah. you're really pretty. Like you you never like considered trying to be a model or anything like that. Like especially like moving to Europe. You know. Um, well, I I did model for a bit, but like there were, that was tactical move because I started so I started sewing and designing clothes when I was like four years old. So That's by the so cool. at, at four, yeah. Okay. My right. mom, my mom was sewing all the time. My I grew up in a house of like artists and creatives, so like there's all this shit around. All so the you time. were using a sewing machine at four? I did it by hand because my oh. mom wouldn't let me okay. use the sewing machine. But wow. I was I I don't know how old I was when I started using a sewing machine. I was probably like five or six, young. Like I was okay. young. Okay. So like went to fashion school whatever but when I was a teenager I was like I want to already work as a designer I've been doing this for a long time like I'm gonna start meeting designers and the only way I knew how to do that is like if I'm modeling then I can go meet them so I started modeling when I was a teenager and then um, at the like fittings I would bring my sketch pad with me and I was 16 when one of the designers that I was modeling for was like Oh, this is pretty good. And so I got my first design job when I was 16. Who was wow. that with? Uh, her name's Elise Sadie. She did like prom and wedding gowns. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then like, which was cool for a 16 year old. I only did the prom gowns. So did you make your own prom gown? Yes. Yeah. So like the very Wait, first. your own prom yes, gown? Yes. The very first, <laughs> my very first thing that ever was like sold in stores was like my senior prom dress. And I wore the sample that was like came back from our factory in China. Yeah. And that's what I wore to my senior prom. That's no cool. way. Yeah. Did so. you get compliments on it? Were people like, hey, oh, where'd yeah. you get that? Who designed that? Like You're not, like, me? Not what anyone <laughs> else was wearing, you know? Like, it was very different. Yeah. So. Ruffly or smooth? 
like, what do you mean, rough or smooth? Like, rough, roughly, roughly. Like, do oh. you have ruffles and roughly? No. Or, what do you meant to say? <laughs> roughly or sexy? <laughs> That's what he meant to say. I am definitely not the ruffly person. Like, I, I, I'm like a pretty feminine woman, but there's like an edge. Like, ruffles are like a little bit too feminine for me. Oh, got you it. You know, okay. like certain flower motifs that is a little too girly. <laughs> like, I yeah. have a line. Like, I'm not going to go into stuff that's like, Big bows, like fuck no. 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 Okay. Yeah, she I'm was... definitely more on like the let's wear something sexy rather than ruffly. Nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So you design clothes. You mm -hmm. worked with designers. Mm -hmm. You finished school out here in Cali. You went to Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. What kind of jobs did you have? Because I mean, you had to work. Obviously, yeah. you didn't pay for rent. But I bet I think eventually well, for, you probably had to pay. For six months, I didn't pay. Okay, for so for six months, I moved out of my uncle's house after six okay. months. Okay, so of course so, now you have to get a job. Yeah, so I had so I was illegal in the country. Okay. For a big chunk of time, so yep. like you, I had black money jobs, which means you're working really shitty jobs under the table. Yeah. The cash. In Amsterdam. So like my first job was just like as a server. Everyone in the whole place got paid in cash at the end of the night. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, there's definitely some shady shit going on. Mm -hmm. Coke being no. done in the in the kitchen. Like, the servers would come out with like, <laughs> like a little bit of like Coke right around their nose and stuff. I'm like, it, yeah, that was like a, sh a pretty shady place. You're you're working at shady places if you're working under the table. I'll just let you know that. All right. So that seems that's so that. Oh, actually, one of my jobs, I was working, this was the worst fucking company I've ever worked for. I worked for a tour company. It's, okay. Um, th gosh, this guy was such a, I never met. In my, Amsterdam? Yeah. Okay. I tour never company. met my boss, but he was like a fucking nightmare. You could get fired for anything at this place, right? And so, like, they didn't pay us. We got paid in tips, but then they would take, like, three euros out of our tip money for each person on our tour. And they would take a picture at the beginning of your tour. They would tell all the tourists, like, you guys, let's get this really awesome photo and you can go online and get your photo oh, later. And that's how it was do. their check-in point to make sure we didn't lie about our numbers. Really, it was just like this check-in point. So right? they knew what their money was. Yes, exactly. And you couldn't say like, oh, I had less people. So but they sold tickets and took three euros from No, your the, the tour was free. Okay. But people would just like sometimes like, oh, we got to do this other thing and just leave without paying a tip. And I'm like, dude, you just cost me three euros. Europeans and Australians don't fucking tip. Yeah. They're, they're no, not, they're, like, I don't know if that if that's just like. like no, it's, you're true. It, even my aunts and uncles would come here visiting and yeah. we'd go to restaurants. And even when I was a kid, I noticed it. Yeah. Like they would, oh, we got the bill. And they'd pay the bill and be like zero tip. And I'm like, yeah. The, as a kid, I was yeah. like, what are you doing? I used you to know? work at Saddle Ranch. And when I would, when I would sit, like, and the, I, I only worked there for a little bit, but I was a host there. And I would like sit like a European fam, like, a, like Australians or a, a European family, like at a table and, and I signed like the server to them. They'd be so pissed off because they're like, dude, these fuckers don't tip. Yeah. I, I don't know yeah. if in Europe or in Australia it's added in, but like they no, just don't believe nope. in tipping or they don't think about it. It's, I don't know. It was well, they never did, a thing. I did get paid more hourly there uh, okay. as a server than I would here. Yeah, because here right. they know you're getting tips. Yeah. You yeah. know, when, yeah. when you're talking about tours, it, it, it reminds <laughs> us something. My, my wife and I went to Amsterdam and we did, and then we went to a bunch of other cities, Paris and London, but we did tours in all of them because mm -hmm. we didn't really know about the places. And uh, I did a red light city tour. Oh, like, I used to do really? the red light city <laughs> And we did the red light city Amsterdam. tour, me and my wife, and they took us to the red light. I used to all, that Groups one. of us. Red light and then the blue light district. Yeah, the, do you know you what know? the blue lights are? Yeah, gay, it's, a, it's gay. gay, dudes, gay right? uh, trans. It's trans. Yeah, yeah trans. Yeah, yeah. it was. Uh, and uh, we, we did that tour, and the tour guide was telling us, like, if. Because in, in Amsterdam, there's lots of churches everywhere. Mm -hmm. And they're all around, like, the brothels and okay. the red light. And, and he asked us, he's like, you know that uh, uh, the reason there's churches all around here is because the first group of girls that were prostitutes were nuns. Oh, wow. And wow. then he said that, uh, and he's like, and I don't know if he was full of shit. And then he said <laughs> that, and so he's like, guess who their priest was? Or guess who their pimp was? 
The priest. The, the fucking priest. That's funny. Well, there's always shady shit going on at church. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. of course. Sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's also bec- and it's also like they feel safer around that, you know, because uh, there's churches all around. You yeah. Can't, you know. So if they have to run and get somewhere, they can run into yeah. a church. Uh, yeah. Makes sense. I get it. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, so but, but I got to. There were times, though, with this tour company where I had to pay to go to work. What? Wow. Yes, because I still had to pay the three euros for each person. Yeah. If the weather was shit, which it is often in Amsterdam, people leave the tour, they don't tip you. And then I end up being like, fuck, I did, like made less money than three euros a person. You should have stayed home that day. I know. And, and the, the company was so terrible. People got fired left and right for everything. Like one week, a girl got fired for calling in sick. So then the next week, I was sick. Like, legitimately sick. I, yeah. It wasn't like a hangover. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, I can't call in sick. I have to show up to work. Otherwise, I don't have a job. Yeah. So I show up to work. I'm in the middle of the tour. I'm like, there's a whole group of tourists in front of me, like, I don't know, 20 people talking about this building behind me. And I'm like, hold on one second. I turn around. <laughs> I puke all over the place, like just spewing. Out onto the street or yes, whatever? Yes, on the street in front of this, in, in front of the, like, it's, a, the, it's called the VOC building. It's, it's like the Dutch East Indies company, their like building that they okay. had. Literally just wiping the, the puke off of my mouth, turn back around, finish the rest of the tour, because I'm like, I have to get my tips. Yeah. And I, I think I puked a couple other times. Like, I, everyone probably thought I had a hangover, because, you know, I'm, I'm in my 20s. Yeah. In my early 20s, like, oh, you're in your early 20s. Like, you're probably drunk and hungover. Now, I was, like, actually sick. I was legitimately sick. What Dang. was nightlife out there? Like, you know, I went there with my wife. So we, I mean, we, you know, like I, I couldn't only imagine like. You never hit the clubs? No, like not really. I can only imagine that's like lots of rave music probably. What, what is I it? Think, I mean, I think it depends on where you go. Okay. Um, in, in the Netherlands, there's like a lot like liquor laws. So like only certain places will sell liquor. So it's all like beer and wine. And weed. And then, like, if you want to go someplace that sells, like, liquor, it's you're probably going to be at a gay bar. Oh. Because those are the ones that pay for those licenses. Oh. So, like, I hung out at a lot of gay bars when I was there. And um, actually, this one, I, this one when I, after I became legal in the country, I had, like, legitimate jobs. And I was working for a fashion designer. And across the street was like a drag um, bar and we used to go there all the time. So like we hope, it's like West Hollywood. Yeah, but, I guess yeah. so, yeah. All so right. I think there was only like one place that would serve like liquor that was not like a gay bar in like the whole city. Got it. So it's, yeah. Speaking of liquor. Oh yeah, you, speaking of liquor. You yeah. brought some of your own, but it's uh, kombucha. It's like healthy. <laughs> So Liquor. explain kombucha for people like that, you know, there's a lot of people that are like, okay, kombucha, you know, it's good, but you brew it. Yes, I brew it. So darn it, I wish I would have brought my SCOBY with me so you could see it because it's really creepy looking. What's a SCOBY? It's, it's a live organism and it looks like a weird slug thing that has dangly things hanging off of it. It's super creepy looking. And it's was this liquid it, in the scoby? The scoby was in the liquid. Swimming in the liquid? Well, not swimming. It just kind of floats there. It's just like a blob. And so, the scoby it sits in there. These things can live forever. Like I don't know how old my scoby is because they just grow and grow and get bigger. And I can rip pieces off of it and give it to other people who want to start their own brew. So if you ever want to start a brew, let me know. And I can, I'll give you a scoby. I'll set you up with it. Oh wow! And then okay. it just keeps growing. So it's it sits there, it floats in the top, and um, you have to have that, and you have to have what's called a starter. A starter is just like kombucha from the last brew, okay. and then you just brew a batch of tea, dump that in, and you let it sit there in a place that's like kind of not not in direct sunlight. Yeah. And room just a temperature. cool room temperature mm-hmm. and no direct light. And I started doing it like I would do uh, the first brew I did was like a week long brew. Okay. And then I was like, I kind of want a little bit more. The longer you brew it, the more alcoholic it gets. So then I started doing like two week brews. 
This one that I have today is eight week brew. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so we're, we're talking moonshine right here then. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> it's kind of cool. I can like control how much alcohol is in it based on how long I brew it for. How long have you been doing this for? I started doing this um, like during COVID. One of my friends was like, she did like a, a Zoom class with like a group of friends and she dropped a SCOBY off on our doorsteps. Oh, okay. Like one, everyone is like in quarantine and stuff. So, so like, your Scooby's from? From her, yeah. From her, from COVID, and now mm -hmm. it's grown. Yeah, it's grown and I've like, it's, it's grown so big I've had to give like you literally just rip pieces off of it and then you can give that to someone else. So it's like a reef. You know how reef is alive and things grow and kind of like that. Yeah. It's kind of like that, right? I, I guess so, but it doesn't look like, it looks like really creepy. Like a reef doesn't look that creepy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you, you just looks keep like it a, in like a big glass jar? Yeah, in a big glass jar. Mm -hmm. And then and then after your, however long you want to brew it, you yeah. pull it out, you take your scoby out, um, cause you don't want to eat that cause it's just, okay. it's, it's creepy looking. Do you filter this then? Like, mm, uh, yeah, mm. I filter it. So there's no SCOBY chunks in it. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah. And then add whatever flavor you want to it. And then you know how, when you buy kombucha at the store, it's like bubbly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's then, carbonated. Yeah. Yeah. Then after you add your flavor to it and you take the SCOBY out, you can let it sit for another week and that will carbonate it. It'll get bubbly. on its own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay. So this has a little bubbly to it. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. So the um, scoby is what creates the alcohol in it. It's like a, it's fermented. Okay. It's all like everything's fermenting Got in it. there, right? So the reason why it's like healthy, right? Yeah, that fermented tea is like good for your gut health, and it like brings a whole bunch of like extra nutrients to your gut health, and so that's why it's kind of popular in the yoga world. Uh, so nobody, I... nobody's been shady offering me kombucha till today. Okay. And I've been well, in I'm yoga for 12 one. years. Oh, man. <laughs> 12 right. I didn't realize Yeah, been I've been doing, doing yoga for, for 12 years. How long have you been in her? her not that long, actually. No, not long. Okay. Yeah. So she teaches a really early morning class. Okay. And I think I started going to her class because we film, uh, you know, during the day. And I want to get at least something in. So I saw... It's just like it's a uh, it's just like normal vinyasa class, and I go okay. I could do that at least before I go do the podcast. And her class is at like six in the morning, oh, so okay. I started going yeah. to her class. And then like she knew I was, but never said nothing. And then, no, I did not know who you were. Oh, you didn't know? No, who I, was. I I did not. Like my colleague told me you were in my class for like weeks, and I had had no clue. Okay. Oh, you guys don't talk. Yeah. No, we talked, but I didn't know he was like Wee Man from. Okay. Uh, we didn't really start talking. Oh, like you go this. under Jason under that. Yeah, yeah okay. his name's like, like yeah. Jason. Uh -huh. That's how I check in, you know. Yeah. But people know. But one day she's like, "You're so and so." I'm like, "Yeah, I've been coming to your class for like a while yeah. since we've been doing yeah. the pod." And she goes, "Oh," and talked. And then I don't know why the podcast got brought up, but she, I think she you asked, "What am I doing lately?" And I told her, and she goes, "Oh, you have." And I go, "Yeah, listen to it." And so she got hooked and she likes it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. so. Okay, what are these two flavors? This flavor right here, this one is pomegranate and blood orange. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And this one is the mystery flavor. I forgot to put a label on it. So does it, who wants the mystery flavor? I definitely want to try you want the mystery flavor. I want a little of both. Okay. I'll just try the, the pomegranate one, just a little okay. bit. Oh, did you hear that little, yeah. little pop? Do you have to shake it or anything? Or? No, you can just go All right, it. so this is mystery. Pa yeah. I want Ponch to try it at the same time I'm trying it. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's that a, was a big pop. pop. That was a pop. Look at and the like, smoke coming wow. out. A little bit. Was that safe? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This one looks Kim like it's. this is more bubbly than the other one. Kombucha is really good for like later on between the sheets. Your wife might be thanking me and us later. My wife's out of town, so uh, darn well, it. I'd probably just be thanking myself. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh, I'm the only one diving into the mystery flavor, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'll tell you. Well, it has that, you know that. Uh, it's vinegary. It's very vinegary. It has a very yeah. vinegary scent. So, all right. Oh. oh, yeah. Cheers. Guys, or in, yeah. as they wow. say in Amsterdam, Brost. 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 And then, uh, what is, yeah, what's German? 
Brost also. Woo. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's German tart. and Dutch are very close. I know. You know when I so I took German in high school when I first ah. moved in with my uncle, who he was around during World War II, and every Dutch person around during World War II hates Germans. Oh, of course they do. Yeah. So <laughs> I would accidentally say German words instead of the Dutch ones, and he would get pissed off. He would be like, "No, that's Deutsch!" Like screaming. <laughs> yeah. His hands up, everything, like, just, I was like, oh, shit. I need to figure this language thing out quicker than I thought. Otherwise, yeah. I'm going to get kicked out. So when I was a kid, uh, you know, when you're, like, three, four years old, and you're asking your mom, like, what's this? Mm -hmm. My mom would say it in, like, I already knew English. Mm -hmm. My mom would say it in German, and I straight said, no, not that funny language. What is this? So I would want to know, like, what this mates and Damn it, is. you're like my kids. Yeah. I, I only speak Dutch with them. And they hate it, right? And, like, yesterday my son was just like, no, what is it in English? That's what I did to and my I mom. And I was like, damn it, I'm giving you a gift of language right now. My mom did not give this That's to really me. Cool and I so, that. like, I'm giving you a gift right now. Just take it. So the way my <laughs> mom know? gave me the gift was like, okay, your aunt does not speak English. You're going to spend the summer with her and send oh. me to my aunt's house. Damn it. I'm and, like, and in the summer, I learned German. I wish I could do that with my kids. All of their relatives <laughs> speak fluent English. <laughs> yeah. All my aunts and uncles, nobody wanted to learn English. Uh -huh. But then, it, like I said, my cousins do. Okay. Yeah. So give me some flavors like that you think it might be. <laughs> and then I'll tell you what it is. Because okay. there is a taste. I'm fam There is a flavor I get that I'm familiar with. But. Mm. I don't know if, how is this that is so, so it was pretty good. It's nice, right? Yeah, it's not booze. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I'm just not a big kombucha guy. So like the well, you're gonna become a kombucha. Yeah. So <laughs> or I'll kombucha you. You know where? <laughs> Jason's gonna. You're gonna start your own brew and like make sure that he gets some of it. Um, Peach. I think I mixed a lot of different flavors in there. I taste a little peach. You could be right. You could be right on that. I'm not like a, I'm not a kombucha sauvignon, so I don't know <laughs> what, you know. Um, could be, uh, wait, I was going to say pomegranate, but I'm like, wait, isn't that this one? Mm -hmm. no, this yeah, that's one's that pomegranate. one. That's so pomegranate, blood not. orange. Um, uh, cr it could be like a cranberry. There maybe? is some cranberry. Okay. There is hints okay. of cranberry. That's a possibility. Okay. Do you like use sometimes. fresh cranberries or do you just do like, Cranberry juice. It depends. It's like if I have like a, a nice like pressed juice that's like already made in the fridge, I'm like, oh, okay, we'll just use that. Sometimes I'll just do like lemon and then turmeric and ginger and just. There's a little bit of those in. too in there. Yeah. In the mystery. Do yeah. You, do you have your kids on the kombucha, like a, a <laughs> non-alcoholic one? No, no, because my, um, my husband is like really like doesn't want them to to drink it. I was going to okay. say. Because he's, he's afraid of it being too alcoholic. Oh, I, yeah. I was going to say, know? I don't think you can do kombucha with, uh, without being. I thought, OK. I there's thought always a little bit of alcohol. Okay. Yeah. But like, Even so, the ones you buy at the store, like over the counter. Yeah. Still a little but bit like more. if I did like a one or two week brew, um, my kids can have it. But I think my husband's just like a little bit of a nutcase about it. So he's like. No, he doesn't drink. So I think he's like, I don't want my kids like around. Is did this. you did you meet your husband out here? I met him in Europe. Oh, actually. in Europe, he's European. Oh, from yeah. he's from been, Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, he's from wow. there. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you send your kids to his family? I know, but they all speak fluent English. Also, uh, sometimes when they come and visit. They start speaking English with my kids. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Dude, don't speak English with them. You need to speak Dutch with them. Like, mm. they and, understand everything. And they're not and they're not doing it? They, well, so my three-year-old, she, like, mixes the languages together. Oh, no way. Yeah. So That's just, awesome. like, a blend. Sometimes I hear them talking with their friends, and they say, like, a Dutch word in there, and the friends have no clue what they're <laughs> talking about. And it's funny because they think they're speaking English. They don't know that, like, the word they just, they don't understand. They go like home that. and say the words it's, to their parents. Your parents are yeah. like, what the? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so not only did I bring this, but I also brought gifts for Jason, the two of you. Okay. Try this one. Are you clear? So, good? Yeah, I'm good. 
Um, this one is for you. Oh. Okay. Wow. All right. So just keep in First. mind, like I'm, I'm listening to your podcast episodes. So this has to do with like <laughs> something you have both mentioned on your episode. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh. Yeah. I got your favorite underwear for both of you. Yeah, you did. Uh, Poncho, where you wear large. You wear nothing, Mine Poncho. Have, oh yeah. <laughs> you said you wear nothing. <laughs> I love it. You're right. Look, nothing. nothing. Um, I'm actually wearing these <laughs> I was right like, now. Okay, now it makes sense. Um, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one I got size you your too underwear. big. Okay, I had no clue. I'm one just like, size too that's big. why there's the underwear. gift, gift card. Gift okay. I, I, might, I got my invisible just, underwear right now. <laughs> yeah. I'll try but them on later. That's yeah. funny. I think I got the size right for you, yeah. Poncho. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank yeah. you. That's, yeah, you're welcome. Awesome. That is a true listener right there. Yes. yes. Wow. She heard. Wow. Listen, responded with gifts. <laughs> We, yeah. So we used to do gifts on our first season of the podcast, and we kind of floundered this, this Like you year. gave gifts to the host yeah. or no, to, the, to guests. the guests. And Damn it, I should have been on when you were doing yeah. that. Yeah. We used to, yeah, we used to, uh, our I whole thing. spoiled we, you with you, kombucha. No, that yeah. was great. Like this brought back underwear. memories. <laughs> oh. We used to do, uh, oh. <laughs> we used to do gifts because we were trying to get sponsorship from like Tootsie Roll, Midgies. I and literally just yes. heard you guys talking about and, Yeah, people. and we don't yeah. do it. We were like, nah, fuck it. We're like advertising them. They're not doing They're shit They're not for calling us. us. Like, but why, why not, though? Like, I think we're too like... dirty, maybe. You know, like we, you know, they cater more to like, uh, like kids. kids and stuff. And, you know, maybe I, I they it. might have an adult line of candy that might come out and then your Ooh, sponsorship. Like an edible out. Tootsie Roll. <laughs> oh. Yeah. If you hear that, well, that's where we would come in. Yeah. Yes. So, like, hello, marketing team or design team, but come up with a new product line for adults, yeah. and then you have the right people to we, put it out there. We went very hard, like giving a lot of free advertising in the beginning, and like that's the stuff we get. We even had a mini bar. Yeah, mini mini mm. drinks. Yeah, mini like all mini drinks. mini drinks, like mini cokes, mini the little like. She uh, probably knows the store that you get the stuff at. What's, what's at store is uh, that? High Times. Oh, I know high time. They yeah. have all these like yeah. mini beers. Everything. Is I don't mini. think yeah. I've seen their mini section though. You have to look. It's all in different parts. Yeah. Like there's mini little like, like vodka drinks. Then over here there's mini like liquors or you know yeah. it's not alcoholic all coffees and stuff. Like, yeah, wow. like, we had it all like, in mini cups. Like we like, hook up the guests and stuff. And then I remember having this one guest that who was anti alcohol and everything, mm -hmm. and he's just like, I don't want any of that stuff like up. Near, like, near me. Uh, near me. I'm like, sober now. Yeah. What are you doing? And I'm like, oh. okay. Yeah, yeah. which like, was not fine. Even you know, in the like, facility we're not, area. we don't want to give the wrong impression of anybody. But, yeah. and then we just kind of stopped this yeah. season. I think we, I think we got to bring it back. We dude. do have to bring it back. You know, Maybe this is the inspiration to bring it back. This yeah, is the you inspiration. You are the inspiration yeah. to bring it back. And yeah. the booze. Yeah. Booze. Yeah. And I, brought, yeah. I brought it booze all. I, brought I haven't booze. drank in like 10 years. <laughs> booze. Like, gifts. I mean, that's not drinking. I got to no. like go, go hard. You don't want to finish? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. He okay. said he's not a kombucha guy. I feel like. I'm, not, I'm just not a kombucha guy anyway. Like, I, think, I feel like there's a lot of people who are not kombucha people. You know, like yeah. it's like. It's one of those things like if you're if you're into it then you you go hard like i do and you brew your own stuff and is this the only way you drink these days or do you drink other stuff no i drink alcohol okay yeah. <laughs> so question yeah. when you were when you were saying like it will make you good in the bedroom is so is it a, an aphrodisiac wait i don't know about that? that i haven't heard about that you Where need you to tell that? me that i was just trying to sell them on oh, okay oh. <laughs> i was like hey you know it's uh, real it's good like, <laughs> Like yeah. that and a couple oysters, you're like, yeah. let's go. I know. It was <laughs> like, much. hey, Poncho, I could give you some of this to bring yeah. home for when your wife is back in town. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. you go. J Jason did mention something. Uh, you, you, you heard uh, our episode where we were talking about the taxi cab? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard that taxi. <laughs> I'm like, and she's still coming. <laughs> yeah. I go, yep. She's still going to be involved. I'm still here. I showed up. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, yeah. Uh, that was wild. We, we have wild stories together. And everything <laughs> always happens together. Like, the wildest stuff always happens together. Like, I well, mean, we have individual stories, obviously, too. But for some reason, 
Two is better than one. <laughs> With a lot of things, though, right? Yes. Yeah, two shoes are better than one. Yeah. There you definitely yeah. don't want to be just with one shoe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is, Who's you know a weirdo was, with one shoe? You know what I was actually <laughs> thinking about? I was like, oh, this is the first time you're going to see me with shoes on. Yeah. Like, you've never seen me wear shoes. No. Or, or, or a shirt before. Normal clothes, jewelry. Or makeup yeah. before. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. This is the first. I was like, no, I normally no shoes, no shirt. No makeup, no jewelry. No makeup, no jewelry. Yeah. No normal clothes. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I'm a little bit taller today. Yeah, you are. Then. What, how tall yeah. are you? Normal five six. Five nine. No, oh, she's tall. A little bit, a little bit over five nine. You're a little over. Wow. Yeah. I get it all. Once it's five six. And it's above, like after that. The, yeah, it's the like, numbers just kind of blur. Yeah, into they each blend. Other. They they uh they kombucha together. They <laughs> kombucha together. <laughs> yep. Um. So, crazy stories. You said you have. So okay, I will tell you this. Been doing yoga for twelve years. Mm -hmm. Today or no, yesterday, in hot raw, doing the one legged where you grab your le other leg like underneath and you hold it, then you pull it out straight. Yeah. Uh, standing forehead to knee. Standing forehead to knee. As soon as I grabbed my foot, I cut a fart in class. Like, Wait, well, this is your first time doing this in yoga? In yoga. It was my first well, time that long to get to farting that point? ever in class. I think I, I never did. I, and is I that don't common? Know. A common thing? Oh, to totally. Oh, for class. sure. You're, I mean, you're, you're moving, right? Like, and your like, gastro area of your body is like fluxing and... Things Especially if you have like yeah. a really old person. I, I feel like I would just fart all over the place, man. <laughs> uh. There's been people, I've heard it before, been in class, but it was my first time. And it actually was a little stinky, too. Like, I was like, oh, Wait, crap. Wait, did, did other people hear it? Oh, it, it was like pretty much, it was like, burp. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I looked, and nobody like looked or said anything. And I'm like, all right. And then all of a sudden... Because the class is warm, I'm like, oh, great. It stinks, too. Warm parts. <laughs> yes. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. my gosh. It was bad. I was in so. one class one time, and it was like a class without music. Mm. And then somebody let out the loudest fart. But it was like a very serious yoga class. Like, serious yoga. And everyone was just like so serious afterwards i was like is seriously like, is like no one's gonna laugh right yeah, now like that's what i was wondering. it felt nope. so awkward like someone needs to so, laugh to like so is the seriousness like depend on the instructor like is the instructor I, like i think yeah, yeah. I think like, this guy's like 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 oh there's yeah. he's into it like really like you can't like fuck around i like, think that has a big thing to do with it there's teacher yeah. like the yesterday was no music it, that's mm -hmm. why i heard it. i'm like oh my god everybody had to hear this yeah. Like, cause then I realized there's no music. It's Cindy. She teaches like, and she's just straight. It's the, what are they? The, um, the, not Pilates. It's the, uh, Bikram. All the yeah. just Bikram moves and you do them and, and that's it. No music, nothing. Yeah. So, and then there's fun teachers that'll be like, we're playing ACDC and you're going to lift weights. Is Jessica a fun teacher? She's a fun teacher. I feel like I'm kind of in between that. I don't know if I've played ACDC before. No, you've never played ACDC, but you're very, you're unique. Because yeah. most people like go like by like certain moves and you mix yours in and you're like, okay, well we were over here and now we're like back on our one hand and lifting a leg and you're like okay and yeah, then i try to do these weird <laughs> twist things where you're like how the hell did i get into this you do. posture you so. do, do i can't that. imagine listening to like acdc though would be like fun at yoga like it just seems like know. yoga is a more relaxing you got to be in a relaxing state of mind like yeah. you can still be happy you don't have to be serious but like there's it's like the, the acdc well sometimes though. it's like I mean, when I'm creating my playlist, I'm like, I want the music to match up with how intense I want people to feel in their bodies. Oh, yeah. So it's like, okay, we're going to like get like really gnarly in here and I'm going to make sure everyone's just it's literally just dripping sweat. So off you of do their the bodies. hot yoga. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, well, I mean, I, I was playing like some John Lennon today, yeah. but that was like a, you know, calm and chill. John oh, so Lennon you already song. saw her this morning. Yeah, yeah, this is our second okay. time seeing each other today. Yeah, I went, this is what I said. I went to the 6 a.m. Yeah. class today. Uh, that's, yeah. that's my class. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to get out, bro. And what's it like to yeah. see her outside of class? That's with, what I'm with saying. Shoes yeah. With shoes yeah, on. With it's shoes. It's crazy. Like, totally she's got a cool different. style, yeah. cool sense Very of fashion. Very cool yeah. sense of fashion for a fashion designer. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Very European-like, I would say. Oh, maybe some of it rubbed off on me. Yeah, over there. definitely. Very, very European. Well, you got a European husband. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> European husband, a whole bunch of European family. Yeah. When, when me and my wife went uh, and uh, we stayed in Amsterdam, we stayed on a boat. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, but it was it, it was cool, but it was really cold. I always like it was in the like, winter. Yeah, because like the, so the like, canal sometimes yeah. freeze over. Yeah, it was um, right in the canal, right in that area. Everyone's riding bikes. It was yeah. neat. I never stayed on a boat, but it was winter. I'm like, this is kind of cold. This <laughs> one time I like got out of work and I like walk out to my bike. I'm like, my bike's hooked up by the canal. I'm unlocking it and I see this like the canals had just frozen over overnight. And like the, it doesn't happen super often, but it can happen. And all, this spontaneous party just started breaking out on the canal. I'm like, fuck that! I'm not gonna go home. <laughs> Climb down onto the canal, onto the ice, and there's like, there's like a DJ stand. There's what? kids selling hot chocolate. You go down the canal a little bit further. There's a band playing. That like this spontaneously just happened. And you're walking on the canal. On the canal, you're. Wa I'm walking on the ice. Yeah. Are and people like, ice skating? Is there yeah, any people ice are skating? ice skating out oh, there. Over that like much, out there huh? dancing on the. It was like. This is like one of the things I love about Amsterdam is like the city is just magical. Like, yeah, this is just a not planned thing. It's like the Dutch people know how to like take advantage of the moment. They're like, yes, this doesn't happen often. Fuck work today. We're going to go make the most of the fact that the canals are frozen over and go over and, uh, you know, have this like party on the canal. You just walk down the canal is going the whole way down. It was amazing. Yeah, and also if it's sunny outside, the same thing happens. I showed up to work one time on Wait, a, a sunny people day. People partying on the canal. Not on the canal. No, not exactly <laughs> that. But like the idea of like fuck it, like let's screw work. I Go showed to up beach. to work, and and it was sunny, and my boss was like, "What the hell are you doing here?" And I'm like, "I am supposed to be at work today." And he's like, "No." I he grabbed his boat keys, and he's like, "We're going out on the boat." for the rest oh, of the day. Nice. That's awesome. So then like we went to the grocery store, got a bottle of wine, like some food for lunch and just like cruised on the canals for the rest of the day instead of going being at work. What made you want to come back to America after being there for just because yeah. you were there for six years? It seems I know. like such it's just, a... It's, the weather is so shitty. I like couldn't handle it anymore. So you miss that Cali weather. You're like... Uh, oh, yes. The weather here is like... A dr I'm like, if I could have this weather and then just in Amsterdam, I wouldn't have moved. I yeah. would have like stayed there for the rest of the But it wouldn't time, be the same, because so. there it's like, <clears throat> they enjoy the seasons. Like, I love seasons. I you like seasons, I mean? but there's no seasons there. It's just wet, rainy, and cold all the time. Uh, Even in the okay. summer. Even in the summer, the so summer, sunny the days summer is, like, is like colder, wetter, and rainier than our winter in California. Oh, uh, okay. So, all right. So like, there's no break from it. It's Got like, it. if it was four seasons, Fuck yeah, I would still yeah. be living over there. Got but it. like, it's not. It's just like colder and then colder. Yeah. So how long have you been back in California or in the States for? Um, hmm, when did I move back? I think it's been 10 years. Okay, so you back. had your, your kid out here. Yeah, okay. yeah. I had my kids out here. So. When you slept on the boat, was the boat going down the river or canal or was it docked? It was docked. Uh, okay. That's how you kind of rent them out. They're docked. Yeah. Like that. Most of those oh, canal houses, okay. they're like docked. They're like not moving anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they'll have like a little boat like kind of connected to the side that you can go down. A little duffy or whatever. Yeah, like something small. We started it off like super like depressing though. Like the, I'm like, why did we start this trip out like this? We what started off like doing so like depressing? the Anne Frank tour. Like, oh, yeah. That oh, is kind of I was like, yeah. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Talk about a downer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did you end it, though? So oh, we ended in London. It was great. Yeah. Uh, big I used, yeah. I used to end my tours at the Anne Frank house. That's where I ended. And I like had this big dramatic story. Like, and tried to like make it more dramatic to try to get more tips. <laughs> like, try to get the feeling yeah. out of people. Oh, do you want to know how I got fired from that company, by the way? Because no one. Of course we do. No one quits that company. You, you get, get fired. fired. Okay. You get fired. What did you do? I was on a tour, walking across the street, and a girl on my tour got hit by a bus. Shut up. Did she no. die? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> But I did see her body like fly across the street. I was like, fuck, I'm gonna get fired. That was my first thought. And then I was like, oh shit, I hope she's okay. 
But what happened to the bus driver? I have no clue. I was just like, honestly, I was like, fuck, I am so broke right now. I need to make sure I need to get the tips from these people. So like. <laughs> you're like, you know, I'm so like worried about you. Mode. But like, yeah, like. I know you're going I, into the ambulance right now, but uh, you I know, was, I can was I get just, three euros from you for this little <laughs> tour we gave? I'm just like, listen, are you okay? Like, I talked to her friends, talked to her. I was like, are you guys okay? I'm going to get the tours out of your way so you can, like, take care of yourself. So I tried to make it seem like I was being caring. But really, I was just like, fuck, if I if all these people leave right now and I have to pay three euros a person and no one tips me, you're done. I'm screwed. Yeah. You know, like, like that's just... a big chunk of money for the little amount of money I was making at the time. And you got I'm fired. Just, I'm just eating gruel. Tonight. Yeah, I got fired. My friend who worked in the office was like, yeah, they've been shredding all the papers that say that you ever worked here. <laughs> She's, wow. Yeah. So. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to get revenge on these assholes. Oh, okay. So, so now we got revenge. Okay. Yeah. So I would start showing up to the tours and be like, um, like, because I knew my other colleague tour guides could not say anything about their tips unless it was asked by a tourist. I would go pop into their tours, pretend like I was a tourist, and then like ask them about the tips, ask them about how the company makes money. And then I would be like, oh, so you mean you don't make any money? If, oh, so like you're then helping everyone out. they would get more money and then the tour company started looking pretty shitty oh. and I didn't have a job so I had nothing to do all day so I would just wow. find the tour go pop in there say that line disappear find the next tour like it sounds like what you were taught what, what you're talking about right now is shilling <laughs> which is something I used to do I used to sell cookware at Costco <laughs> Just Wait, sell cookware at Costco? Yeah. How come this conversation has never no, been brought up? I don't. It's a, It's embarrassing. No, um, let's okay. go. I need. So to I used this. to sell cookware. I was that guy, that pitchman, that was like, "Hey, have you seen these?" Yeah. So you have like stainless. the little booth. <laughs> I had the booth. I would demonstrate. But you, wait, did was, you have food that you were giving out? Oh, we didn't give out food. We weren't no, allowed to. But I would cook no, an egg and then I would just blow you, it out. You know, like, and I was a beast. I was a great salesman. I was. Uh -huh. But there was days that like that they, they were like. And I worked with a partner, and there was days that it was just slow. You know, it was re yeah. really long hours, and there was days that it was just slow. And so, in order to to build, like people come up to the booth when they see other people interested in it. You know. Yeah. So my partner would like put on glasses, and like like take his apron off, and then go grab a shopping cart, and then go and oh, stand at our booth like yeah. he's a customer. And I would just like pitch to him and he'd be like, you know, this is cool. And then you start asking I'm questions. Buy five. Yeah, and then you yeah. start asking questions and then that would draw attention and yeah. bring other people up. And they'd be like, you know, and once other, we got a big group of people, he would be like, you know what? I'll take two. <laughs> and I put two <laughs> cents in his car. And then he'd roll off. He'd be like, thank you. This is the best, you know? <laughs> and, and I'd be like, and don't forget, if, if you don't like it, just bring it back, you know? Like, yeah, because Costco that's a, has a good Costco policy. Uh, if you don't like it, yeah, yeah, yeah. you take it home, yeah. you cook on, it, cook on it, you don't like it, bring it back. Nice. And so people would hear that. All this stuff would be going on in their head. And then people would be like, well, let me see that pitch. What, what's it do? And oh. then I would end up selling like four sets. We call them a four popper. Yeah. It, it, like it, it, to all these people and then he would just come back like when they were all gone and put them back and put them back <laughs> and put his glasses back on and put his apron on and be like there that's how we get a crowd that's nice. how we sell some yeah. so but did anyone ever see him make the switch no no we were, we were okay. smooth with that man okay yeah Punch used to drive around in a creepy van selling speakers. I did the oh, worst that's job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was terrible. We're talking about terrible jobs. I'm telling you, I was terrible. I was. I'm a terrible person, dude. Like the <laughs> things right. I've done. Well, here's another thing that I did after I got fired from that. Okay. So, so we used to like, we had a deal with one of the like, um, like food places, like to eat. In there. Amsterdam? In Amsterdam. Okay. We're going to bring all these tours in, and you just let the tour guides eat for free. Mm. All right? So I put my, I was broke, put my tour guide shirt on with my little tour guide name tag. I know exactly what time they're showing up there for lunch, and I just sneak in and I get free lunch. Like, oh, even after awesome. you were after fired? After I was fired, yeah. You still I was got like, free food. Got yeah, free lunch. Man, you were, like, that's a hustle. I'm like, I'm, I need to work this. I have like, uh, when is, I need another job. Until then, I'm getting free lunches. I'm going to pile on a whole bunch, take some home, so I have dinner tonight. 
So you didn't you try know. to like work for a different tour company? Aren't there, isn't no. there a bunch of them that are in competition with each other? And no, because I had to find some place that would like hire me under the table mm. at that time. So I was like, got to find another shitty under the table job, yeah. basically. So well, at least you didn't go to the red light district. I know only or, tour, only tours through the red light. Or district. you may not have brought it up during this uh, podcast. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but uh, thanks for coming out. Oh, Wait, is it I, done? we didn't no, even we... get to any of the stories I told you I was going to get to. Sometimes you got to come back for a part two. Then no, I'm telling you that you there's one story you got to have. You got okay. Have. This is it. This is our closer. This we're going. Closer. We're think we're going with the closer. Okay. Because we didn't you even. Got, you do better any make yoga it good. Stories. You better yeah. have a good this punchline. Is, this, this is, is good. This, this is, is a our good closer. story. Okay. All right. So, this is. I was teaching yoga. This is literally one of my first classes teaching. Okay. Like first paid job, teaching, and I at the end, like you know, because you've been to my class, I give adjustments. So it's like I give everyone like a little massage on their head, their shoulders, like. When you're in Savasana, which is like basically you're lying on the ground, just relaxing. The last five minutes of class, you're there. It's like the best pose after you've worked really hard. And so I'm doing this for one of the guys in my class, and he starts like quivering, and I'm like, oh my God. He's coming. He's crying right now. And I was like, okay, like, you know, I've done a, like worked in a lot of like emotional healing spaces. So I'm like, okay, we're just gonna stay with him, support him emotionally through this him crying he's like letting out all this emotions and stuff like that so stay there and um with him like for the whole time i'm like you know i have my hands on him like supporting him whatever and then the class ends and at, and he stays after to apologize and i'm like i'm like oh man this is like one of these guys who thinks he can't cry you know i'm like yeah I, I grew up in a home with like very sensitive men, my <laughs> brothers, my dad, my grandpa, my uncles, I've seen them all cry. So like, I'm like used to this, but I'm like, okay, well like not every man has grown up in that environment. You know, yeah. there's like that, you gotta be a man and don't be a pussy. Especially an OC. Yeah, okay, <laughs> you know? all right. So I'm like, I'm like, no, like it's okay. Like they're, you know, it's fine. You know, there's a lot of times where like, you know, we're moving, we're opening up channels in the body that brings up a lot of feelings in the body and things are flowing and moving and yeah, things are just moving and flowing through your body. You got to let that shit out. Like you can't like trap that in. You got to let it flow out. And, yeah. and he's like, seriously, he's like, has this ever happened to you? And I was like, yeah, like, fuck yeah. Like yeah. this has happened to me. And I'm like, it's happened to me a ton of times. This is like a pretty normal thing. Like, you know, you get your body and your mind are like, you know, in the same channel and you're flowing stuff through you and you just let, you let it out. And, and he's like, really? Like with, a, you know, a raised eyebrow, like this has happened to you. I was like, yeah, like this is yeah. normal. Yeah. And remember you told me that you had that woman like crying like crazy in your class. Had a that lady one time. in the class mid, like halfway through the class going into moves, bawling. Tear and everybody's like, "What the? Fuck? Did it hurt or something?" No, it's they like say emotional. emotions come yeah, out because you open different things and stuff. Okay, and yeah. emotions come out. I was like, "Tears of joy, kind of maybe." Tears of joy. Working yeah. through like emotional shit so in her life, probably. Yeah, but I will end on this. So he he was crying. So he was crying. That's yeah. That's no, for, this is not the end of the story though. Oh, like, there's okay. more to it, right? Okay, so it, it gets good. So he's talking to I you. know where you're going with this. So, I think I do, but maybe so not. So the next week, I meet up for coffee with, like, another yoga teacher. Okay. And she's talking about this guy. Same guy. Do and you know it's the same guy, or she's just bringing she's up a guy? She's explaining him, and I was like, oh, yeah, I know who that is. Okay. It's like, he's been Got in it. my class before. Yep. He's and a crier. And she's like, she's like, yeah, he had a boner in my <laughs> class. And he wasn't I wearing underwear, and he had a hole in his shorts. And she's like, I could see it. I could see him popping out of his shorts. Shut <laughs> And up. she's like, what am I supposed to do? And so we had a whole conversation at the end of the conversation. I'm like, shit, he wasn't crying. He's coming. He had an orgasm in my class. No, he had an orgasm by you. Yes, and I had my <laughs> hands on him the whole fucking time. Here, come put your hands on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, 
Oh my God, this is my first wow. paid yoga class ever. And I'm like prostituting myself in class basically. But he did it to yoga. the other lady too. Yoga with a happy ending. <laughs> yes. But there's more to the yes. story, right? So I'm like, I'm thinking back to what I said to him. Never once did I use the word cry. Okay. I said, you're moving and flowing things. You got to let that stuff flow out, flow of, out you. of you. And I'm like, yeah, it happens to me all the time. So this guy now thinks that I'm like popping off orgasms in class. And I'm like, yes, like just have orgasms in class. Like let that shit flow out of you. And he's doing it in other teachers. Classes. And I'm like, I'm like, crap, man. This guy thinks I'm like the horniest crazy sex addict right okay. now probably yeah. I and he comes back to my class like I'm just like why would he come back to my class after like that he was obviously a bit embarrassed afterwards probably come again yeah right? probably right I'm like damn it he thinks I'm like I'm I'm like I had no clue that at the time so I'm like I got to talk to this guy okay see so we like have a conversation. I'm like, I think I was a little confused on what happened the other day. And he's like, yeah, I think so. He's like, I think so. And, and so I like talked with him about it and stuff. He's like, yeah, I have this problem in yoga all the time. Like he's just, I don't, he's like twisting certain ways and he just gets hard every time. And, and so we like worked through a solution with him. I'm like, yeah. So what if you just get down in child's pose? Right. So you're like, your knees are bent, you're laying on your stomach, right? So you're not exposed to yeah. everyone in the room. And then why don't you just say like, my mind's more powerful than my body. So like, and then just tell yourself like, you know, get into this like meditation mode where you can like, be like, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not turned on right now. Like, let's calm this down. Uh, so yeah. worked yeah. through like a whole meditation thing that he could do in the moment. Mm -hmm. And then, like, a few weeks later, he comes back to my class, and he's all excited and shit. And he's like, guess what? I'm like, what? He's like, I don't have that problem anymore. Mm. So it worked out. It was it, a happy it ending. It seems into like more it than worked out. I, I, I get what you're saying, but was this happening to him with male instructors? I don't know. You know, because, I mean, I don't know. with yeah, women. Yeah, they touch you, too. You, they really? You like, too. really? Yeah. Okay. You, wait, you mean the adjustment thing yeah. with male yeah. instructors? No, no, no. That I, he I don't was mean the male hard. adjustment. Like, I mean, like, was he coming when he was getting taught by male yoga instructors? Honestly, I think he only came in my class. I think he That's just was what I hard mean. in the other class. I think, uh, I think he was just you know. attracted to you. Like, I think that, you know, and you talked to him in a very special way. And it made him feel, <laughs> like, really warm and... You know, just and I'm giving him a massage, and you're massaging him, going, like, let it out, like you know, he's like, yeah. hell yeah, just let it all out, it just let it's it normal. Flow. I mean, shit. let it flow. This is normal. This is what let, things let do. Let the juices flow. <laughs> let the juices flow. Exactly. I'd be like, oh what my the? god, okay, yeah. <laughs> well, that's amazing. That's an, I I love that story, and I also love the. Um, the European, European bathhouse like oh. string thing. <laughs> was confidence. Yeah. Oh, those are good, man. That was great. Yeah. Well, I'm so happy we had you on. That yeah. was great. It yeah. was a good show. I told you my story would one up, one up your cry story. Well, yes, it would one up my cry yeah. story. It totally did. But, uh, but I, yeah, I do have other more cra other crazy well, stories too. You might have to come well, back on again, the show again. I guess so. And they're all to do and with we, yoga. Do, are we going to do yoga next time? No, 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 no. Back? Are they all to do with yoga? Like <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got a whole, a whole bunch of crazy yoga stories that wow. well, we could. We're going to need to get to them. I know. Because yoga is my life. It's a big thing. Yeah. I, I love it. So we'll do them. I know. Pancho, you got to come into one of my classes. Maybe if okay. I stay the night at his house or something. I live too yeah. far. I know. Or so. Friday night class. Friday night class. Friday night's in a different part of Costa Mesa. It's mm. yeah. longer, hotter. A different part. Yeah. I'm into the hot thing, trying yeah. the hot thing. Yeah. yeah. I like sweating. When I am my Friday night class, I have like chilled towels with peppermint oil I give to everyone. So oh, oh, it pepper? Peppermint. peppermint oil. I yeah. can't do peppermint oil. Really? Yeah. Is it, are you allergic? Or? No, I just, uh, it's, it's like arousing for me. 
It's a Roscoe. Oh, no, darn it. You're going to be the <laughs> second, second no, person that I comes in I have peppermint class. oil juice for you right now. <laughs> no, you no, no I, I, I just, it's, it's oil like juice. a thing, you know? Like, really? Even, like, I've never... The, no, heard like, of peppermint oil being no, like peppermint shampoo, like the really strong stuff. Yeah. I, I I never even realized it until I was washing my hair once, time, and then I rubbed it down there, and it, you know. Well, because it tingles. It, when yeah, it it, touches it's like your the skin. tingly thing, and it made it yeah. a little warmer. And I was like, oh, oh, oh this is nice. <laughs> But, I uh, actually, I actually just. Bought. I don't want to do that in your class. I'll, I'll just pretend <laughs> I'm crying. I'll be like, I'm fucking crying. <laughs> um, I actually just bought a little thing, and it's supposed to be for, for your like pussy, and it has peppermint oil in it to like stimulate the area. Oh. Yeah. So. Yeah, I always heard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, a thing. What, since we're just on that subject, we're, we'll be on done. peppermint we'll oil we'll, or we'll peppermint. Yeah. That if you're going down on a check, uh, to eat an Altoid. Oh. And the Altoid, you rub your it's, little, you know, and yeah. then, uh, okay, yeah. We'll, we'll end and it And then there. it does the same. It <laughs> yeah, does we're we're going to edit that out. <laughs> Wait, are we No, gonna... we're not. We're not editing that out. <laughs> are we going to end? that's good with... for our listeners. They want to hear Well, this. that's not good for it's... Tootsie Roll. Who said Tootsie? Oh, Altoid is about to be. you're Altoids trying Altoid is now going to be our. <laughs> Altoid is going to come out with a <laughs> sex. sex yeah, a no. little spicy peppermint one. <laughs> Spicy peppermint. I, like, I did. I brought my sound. Oh yeah. To okay. End, end so we're gonna end it. Okay. We're okay. gonna end with a nice calming sound. Should what should I do? Wait. Bring your should... inner peace. Okay. And don't let it all out. Don't <laughs> let... <laughs> let the juices flow. Let yeah, don't let them out. Don't let them out. Let them flow, but don't let them out. Okay. Namaste. 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 Namaste.